Welcome collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you so much for tuning in to another installment of Diecast Emporium. On today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another Diecast Masters Peterbilt Transport Series model. This is the 1 to 50 scale Peterbilt Model 579 Ultra Luff Tractor in white. The item number and number you need to know if you're going to place this through your Diecast Masters authorized dealer network is 71072. The filming of this video takes place in late September 2020, and this model will be hitting them within the next 30 days or so, if not sooner. That is information, of course, that you need to know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and the model as we always do. These transport models come in brown outer shipping boxes with the model SKU number and, again, the information on the side. Makes it easy if you do choose to store your collection uh, in storage for safe purposes. For example, you always know now what's inside of these brown boxes. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. The Transport Series models always have spectacular first-class packaging, and of course this model is absolutely no exception to that. There is the white truck, 1 to 50 scale, your item number up here, your description, and the red Peterbilt badge. Speaking of red, all of the Transport Series models have correlating background colors to whatever... Uh, manufacturer they are representing. In this case, it's Peterbilt, so it has the Peterbilt red. Looks phenomenal, if you ask me. And on the back, here's your information about your real Peterbilt Model 579, including its Packard MX-13 engine, 12.9 liters, anywhere from 405 to 510 horsepower. Up here, you have a trio of pictures uh, depicting some of the functionality of the model, which, again, we will get into once we actually take a look at it. And again, there is your official Diecast Masters trademark, and they're saying of real replicas. So if this is your first Diecast Masters Transport Series model video by me that you are watching, uh, number one, let me say welcome. Number two, Peterbilt is the latest acquisition of OEMs in a growing list by Diecast Masters over the past couple years. Story goes, we've seen obviously Caterpillar, then we've seen International. Then we saw Western Star and Freightliner, and now we have Peterbilt, and the list just keeps going on and on. It seems that the train will never stop. That's a very good thing for us collectors, as we love seeing diversity in this hobby. Speaking of, here is the 2020 catalog, and this has all of the Transport Series models that are currently and have been in the lineup, as well as a little instructional sheet that shows you how to change out the accessories that are included. And those include a headache rack and a deck plate. And again, I will show you how to do that momentarily. Back to the catalog. There's your Freightliners. And your Cascadias, your Kenworths. Back to your new Peterbilts. So again, this is very helpful to have as a quick reference guide and also to keep your collection up to date. The top layer of your model has your deck plate, your oversized load, and your headache rack. And seated in the bottom of the foam rubber is your Peterbilt 579. So at this point, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have all of the accessories and the model out of the box, and we will continue the review. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, collectors. We are back. We have the truck out of the box, and of course, we have a long list of accessories to go over as well. So let's begin with them. As you can see on the truck... You have the standard deck plate, which is this piece right here, which comes affixed on the truck straight away out of the box. However, Diecast Masters has given you, the collector, a couple opportunities with these Peterbilt trucks for display possibilities. If you look right about here, and again, it's a little bit difficult to see on camera, but there are two screws located here that, with a Phillips screwdriver, you can opt to remove that deck plate and put this deck plate in, which will then give you the opportunity to have a headache crack. And how this basically works here, again, for uh, time limitations, I'm not going to go ahead and do this on camera, but it is extremely straightforward and easy to do. Pop this deck plate in, screw it in, drop these two holes for the headache rack, and that's how it would sit. So essentially, you can now have this truck with a headache rack on it right here, if you wish to. But again, because this is a sleeper cab, it, in my opinion, it doesn't exactly look the best, but again, it's nice that Diecast Masters offers you that opportunity that if you want to put a headache rack on this truck, you can. And once again, if you do opt to do that, they have thoughtfully provided an oversized load sign for the top of the headache rack, 
and these two holes are where you plug the oversized load in. So now you can turn your Peterbilt 579 into a heavy hauler, should you wish to do that. However, once again, my strong suggestion, my opinion only, is that this truck is much more suited to haul other trailers offered by die cast masters in the transport series line such as the 53 foot reefer van the container trailers or even the dry goods trailer that die cast masters does so with that out of the way we've gone over the accessories let's take a much closer look at the model itself so as you can see obviously the truck is in white there are many collectors out there that collect white trucks this would be a great addition to their fleet just like the box said you can open the driver's door and the passenger door. And although it is somewhat difficult to get on camera, you can see the interior is very detailed on all of these Peterbilt trucks, including Peterbilt on both the seat and the center of the steering wheel, and the dash and instrument panels are very detailed out as well. The chrome mirrors have a reflective surface on them, which gives the illusion that they actually are mirrors. If we go under the hood and take a mechanic's eye view, you can see that there is a detailed Packard engine, which also has some individually detailed out and painted components to add realism. These trucks feature working steering as well, so you can pose the truck steering in either direction and achieve some realistic angles. Here's the underside or chassis view. The front and rear tires have different tread patterns on them, and there's been a fair amount of effort to detail the chassis side of these trucks. The mud flaps have the Peterbilt logo on them and are flexible rubber. As for the fifth wheel, it is the standard fifth wheel that if you own some of the other transport series trucks by Diecast Masters, it is the same style fifth wheel, which is ideal because it will slide forward and backward and accommodate almost every trailer that you have in your collection, and certainly every Diecast Masters trailer that you have in your collection in 1 to 50 scale. So, that is a brief overview of the brand new 1 to 50 scale Peterbilt 579 Ultra Luft Tractor in white. Again, this will be hitting your authorized Diecast Masters dealer network very, very soon, within 30 days or less. The manufacturer suggested retail price for this model is around $72 US, but again, some dealers I have seen them listed for about $65. So again, fantastic value for your money. I love the opportunity and diversity that Diecast Masters gives you with these trucks including with the headache crack options, should you want to change it out, give you a little bit of different uh, posing opportunities on the shelf, that is, once again, a, uh, a, a welcome change and a new feature that's offered on these trucks for 2020. But you guys, you guys are the real test. You let me know down in the comments section below what you think about these new trucks, perhaps if you're going to buy one for your collection, and maybe what you'd like to see made down the road. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review.